In today's video, amongst all this mess, we're going to install a Viper 3305V in a 2003 Jeep TJ. I kind of got it partially disassembled. It's always good to have some wiring schematic sheets with you to know where you're going to hook up stuff. First wire we connected is the ignition input. Connect to a wire that has 12 volt while the key is in the run and crank position. And that was this blue wire I found in the ignition column. I needed a 12 volt constant power. I removed the fuse and I connected it to the red and pink wire which is 12 volt constant power. Ground wire you can hook up forever. I just hooked it up where the speaker mounts. There should be a good ground there. Probe is telling me the ground is good so I'm not too worried. The horn you can mount wherever. I put it down there, ran my wires through the firewall. Got the siren connected to the output positive from the harness and the siren ground connected to the ground. Since I don't have a hood pin on the Jeep, I need a trigger. So I tied into my Mercury switch right there that I customized up. And we're gonna run that through. So when the hood's open, it's gonna be instant on negative and that'll trigger the alarm. Now blue is the instant trigger that goes negative when the pin is open for the hood. So that one's connected. For the door trigger, I tied into the yellow wire on the light. When your door is opened, it automatically goes negative. I just hold it in right now. The only problem with that being is that you can't go instant armed because as soon as you close your door, you're going to have to wait a few seconds for the light to go out. Otherwise, you could tie in directly to the door triggers and you need some rectifiers from what I assume but I mean for an extra three seconds I don't mind close her up wait a few seconds lock her up while you're walking away who cares I made a fuck up installing the alarm this pink and white wire was power on when I was cranking and was 12 volts after it cranked so I automatically assumed it was a starter relay but it's not but everything's saying a yellow wire, and I didn't suspect this yellow wire because it's thin, but it's the only yellow wire, and it gets hot when it's cranked, so I'm going to cut it and see what happens. Yeah, that small yellow wire is the one. It's armed right now. Let's open up the door, see if we can start it. Yeah, I'm not sure why, because that yellow wire is definitely the starter. Because when it's cut, it won't start. But even when the alarm's going off, it starts. And it starts when it's open, so I'm not sure. I might have to research into it right there, but I'm gonna have to call it a day for now. I got the starter kill figured out. My problem was right here. I didn't have a good enough contact in the wire, so it wasn't pulling the relay in order to stop it from starting, but we got that figured out. Now I got to hide my alarm and uh, finish hooking her all up. Passenger door. The alarm is installed, everything's put back in. I put my antenna up top there. I put my light right there. You know what it is? It's motherfucking beer time. You know what time it is? It's motherfucking beer time. That's what time it is. Got some ho sound lager from Squamish BC. Brew the beer you wish to see in the world. I'm going to end my video there on installing the Viper alarm system. It went pretty good. You just got to be cautious on what wires you pick. I uh, used the power probe to test all my wires. Uh, one mistake wire and troubleshot one. Everything works. The starter kill works. The alarm works in the doors and the hood. The motion sensor, I have it set to max for right now. Because if you wrap on the window, it sets it off. But uh, we'll see how things go. But anyways, I'm going to end my video there. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.